G'day Scrappers, Menace here with another episode of Scrap Mechanic and today I've got more creations, I've got more stuff that you guys have sent me, I've been getting quite a lot so I want to do videos on them because dudes, you guys make some awesome stuff, um, yeah this, this is also by the way, this is my 60th episode, how cool is that, I have uh, just was looking at how many episodes I've done of just regular gameplay, not um, like news videos, update videos and stuff, it is 60 episodes of Scrap Mechanic and that is just just mind-blowing. I've done quite a lot of stuff, and I have been enjoying it. I love Scrap Mechanic. It's good stuff. I hope you guys enjoy it, too. I think you do. Um, yeah, so this first world is by a bloke named Tom Potato, and he's made us a little potato vehicle here. This is just the start, though, guys. This is where we begin. We're going to go for a leisurely drive, and apparently we're Scrap Mechanic's worst car ever. We'll go up here. And we have to follow these little, uh, little arrows. He's done a little bit of a treasure hunt. Can I get up here, Tom? Buddy, can I get up here, dude? Apparently I can. I suppose this electric engine torque is really good. Um, gonna keep going this way. Gonna keep going up here. This is a surprise. I haven't seen this. Hey, what's that over there? That's interesting. I guess we'll have a look at that maybe later. Uh, maybe it's nothing at all. It looks like just a little car. And we go this way. So... Um, Tom Potato, I think he's got a YouTube channel. I'm not sure. I have to double check on that. But apparently these creations are pretty epic. I guess we'll find out in a second, dude. They better be. Actually, it's a... Oh, I see. Cool. So what's this up here? All right, looks like he's built himself a little garage. There's a little land over here. And I don't know what that is supposed to be. I don't think that's supposed to be anything. It's something he's working on. All right, first of all, we've got this thing. It looks like a bit of a land rover. Oh, that's a door. There's a bonnet. How cool is that? Bam, bam. Got a horn. And the back door opens up. And we can take it for a bit of a lap. This is cool, man. I like it very much. Nice color. Nice green. Army green. All right, we're not going to go off the edge. We're going to have a look inside his house. So he's got his little vehicle here. Which I assume will be used in the future when survival comes. If survival comes. I'm sure it's coming. They've said it for a while now. Maybe one day. I don't know. Maybe I should um try and find out what's going on. Cool car, dude. All right. Stop, stop, stop. Caution, caution. Oh, it's a garage door. Check it out. Very cool. Oh, what's this? This is his sports car. I like it. I like the colors too. Good color choice. What's this? Oh, it's a drag star. Hang on. What's this? I don't know what that does. Okay then. Maybe it's just a, a flipper to get us if we flip over somewhere. Oh, let's try it out. Nope, don't work, broski. <laughs> uh, we'll have to put this thing on the lift. There's not much room to drive a drag car though up here. I quite like the, um, actually, what you've done here with this engine. That looks cool. I don't use that technique. Thanks for giving me the idea. And that wing actually looks pretty sick, dude. I really like that, too. Let's go in here. All right. And we'll just uh, we'll take it for a lap, I guess. It doesn't turn too good, but it's supposed to be a fast car. So I suppose that's okay. We'll, uh, we'll go back. We'll head back over towards our friendly little uh, house over here. Yeah, it doesn't turn too great at all. Let's go. Come on. Even the world's most potato car that you said was over there was better off. Oh, I hit my own lift. Dang it. Let's go. Here we go. No, nope, we're good. We're good. All right. Oops, I hit whatever that thing is. I'll just leave that there for now. Nice parking job, eh? <laughs> uh, we'll close the, this door here. That's a cool garage door, man. I like it. And then this. What is that? Oh boy, it's a bus! Oh, it's it's slowly coming. Oh, that is a door. That looks cool, man. I like it. Oh, uh, I'm stuck. Let me in. There we go. Cool. Uh, in we go. 
Wow, a bus for all your friends. I don't think Scrap Mechanic could handle this many people, dude. But this is awesome. It's got a little back of the bus bit. Let's take a look at it. Oh, on top it's got some stuff too. Hey, that's really nice. Nice design, Tom. I really do like that. Let's jump in here. Close the door. Oh, what a beast. Try not to scratch it up too much. I don't reckon I'm going to be able to get out of here. I don't know what, what the second one does. We're getting there. Oh, we're out. We're also in Lag City. I like how he's used the angle at the front to kind of give, you know, that angled look. Sweet. All aboard the scrap mechanic bus. We're going to go somewhere. I don't know. There's no really to go on this map. <laughs> it's just a map. Let's see. What's number two do? Something at the back. Uh, let me out. I guess the door opening isn't as good as it is closing. Cool. All right, now let's see. Something was going on at the back here. Oh, it's the engine bay, of course. He's got a little bit of a, a bonnet for the for the rear engine bay. Cool stuff, man. Really appreciate you sending me this stuff through, Tom. This bus is super cool. Oh, I apologize. I just reread the email, dude. It's Tom the Enderman, not the potato. He's not a potato. But his, his vehicles are really cool. Thank you so much again, dude, for sending that stuff through to me. There is no YouTube channel. He's just he's just a private scrapper doing his scrappy stuff. Really great stuff, man. All right, let's check out this next lot of, lot of uh, creations. Oh, here we go. We're going up the... Oh, oh, we're stuck. Yep, nope, it sort of worked. It sort of worked. Cool. This one is <laughs> Another World Here by Sean or Dark Wolf, I believe his name is. Oh, it's a trap. That's pretty cool. Let's go up again. So he's got himself a little bit of a lift here. It sort of works. It's a little bit a little bit buggy, mate. Could do some work on it, but this is cool over here. I don't think this is attached to anything. So obviously this world's a work in progress, but he's got some really cool finished designs over here. Look. Oh. There we go. Oh, well, it did it perfectly before. Oh, well. Anyway, so let's... Okay, then. <laughs> dun, dun. That's one of his creations that are on the loose. This we've seen before. We've seen this before. Check it out. Pretty sure that's as fast as you're going to get in Scrap Mechanic. Look at my body go. Whee! <laughs> I don't know what... That, I don't think that does anything. Is it hooked up to anything? No, nah, doesn't matter. All right, so that's cool. We've seen that before, though. Thank you. That's a little bit better. Like, that one's a lot shorter, and it works pretty well. Um, I don't know what this is over here. I think maybe he was weighing stuff to see the different weights of certain things. This is cool, man. This is super cool. This is a pogo stick. Boing, boing. But it gets a little bit out of control, right? It's trying to wait. It's trying to correct itself. It's fine. It's okay, dude. Calm down. Ah, it actually flies as well. I don't think the switch, the second switch, I'm not sure exactly what that does. But it's cool, nonetheless. He's using the suspension glitch as well as some thrusters to keep this thing stabilized. And it's actually a really good idea. If it, if it stayed a little bit more stable, it'd probably be better. Maybe if you widened out the bottom. Um, let's let's try that. Let's let's do it. Let's let's mess with his design. You go here, right? Um, we'll just delete this stuff off, and just make it like that. Get that there. Uh, I hope that's about the same. I guess we'll find out in a second. And then this here, and then the foot is a lot bigger. And it will be more stable. And we should be able to bounce up and down. Much better. Boing. <laughs> That's cool, man. Nice little design on that one. Alright, let's go to this next beast. This next thing is just a weapon. Absolute crazy. I don't know. There's no point to it, but it doesn't matter. Does it need a point? This is what he calls the pimp mobile, right? So we can drive like normal. 
It's using suspension glitch to turn left and right, as we've seen previously. And he's got some downwards thrusters to keep things sane. And then, boom, you ready for this? Oh, yeah. And we can drive around. What a pimpin' beast. Bap, bap. Got a horn, of course. And then we can, we can ramp it up to 11. You ready? <laughs> Duh. Yeah. It's, it's just nuts, man. I oh, will turn it off. Calm down. Calm down, mate. The pimp mobile is pimping. We better put it back over here. <clears throat> Otherwise, it could just fly off and just be like this little fella. Now, this here is cool as well. I like what he's done with this car. This just looks like a normal car, you know? This is not a regular car. This is, like, got some... This has got some weird turning. Look at the wheels. They turn, like, on an angle. Um, it also uses a suspension glitch to turn left and right, which is cool. And, um, yeah, so what, you can angle those engines, I guess, for a little bit faster. It, it is actually a very quick and nimble vehicle, dude. Nice work on that one, too. Some interesting ideas. Hang on. No, wait. Oh, I thought those tires were turning. It's not. It is just simply the bearings coming off. Wow, okay, then. All right, we'll park it up. I thought that was your uh, your design. My bad. It's just a just a bug. And then the finally the last one. This is a uh, I can't remember what he calls it. Hang on a sec. Calls it a Zeno Fighter, and it's pretty much similar to what we've been using in the last few episodes with the hover car and the sensors and whatnot. But it's cool as well. It actually, does handle and fly fairly awesomely. And this one uses three, so three engines instead of four, to um generate the lift or yeah yeah the lift basically the hover and it actually works really well dude um obviously again using that suspension glitch to turn left and right and i'll tell you what she flies all right and you could even just do that if you want to you can do flips with it that's cool um i think that's suspension glitch using on like a an x-axis so that we can sort of fly away but this thing moves super quick and it's really awesome dude Thank you so much for submitting your worlds, guys. I really appreciate you checking out your builds. It gives me ideas. It helps me come up with stuff. And we'll try and park it up here. Oh, no. This one. And the episode there. If you have some builds you want to share with me, you can always send me an email at the uh, email address in the description. I want to thank you all so much for watching. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button. My name is Menace. I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye. Hey guys, thanks for watching my video. Make sure you check out the rest of my channel and hit that subscribe button if you like what you see. Thanks for watching.